Thursday night football, the final game of Thanksgiving Day here. Niners, Seahawks, welcome to the Blitz Show, brought to you by Covers, where Derek Carty and his Blitz projections look to pick off the best plus EV plays of every primetime game. Derek, your Blitz projections are absolutely killing it this year for anybody who's followed along all year. Uh, 29% ROI on plays all season. It's getting better week by week. I think we came off a seven-unit week 11 uh absolutely crushing it uh the, the kansas city play was absolutely perfect great handicap there but we got another one here and uh, you were telling me earlier that this one's some games show value across the board some show uh more and this one's just not showing as much but we got a couple of leans here san francisco seven point favorite total sitting at 44 brock purdy under 251 and a half passing yards even money that's at caesar's it's a lean at the time of recording Wednesday afternoon. Uh, there's lots of hype. So this is follow the hype. Usually you can go to the other side of the market in terms of props. Brock Purdy's getting excited. P people are talking about MVP, putting his hat in the race. He's number one in EPA per play. But if you've watched the games, the guy's getting like 50-yard completions, 60-yard completions. I wouldn't be surprised if he's leading. Uh, his receivers are still leading the league in yak. Those are noisy things. Those are things that are tough to predict that that are consistent. Is that what we're seeing with Brock Purdy and the projection for his under here? Yeah, that's a big part of it. Um, the Blitz likes Brock Purdy. The Blitz has Brock Purdy as the fourth best quarterback in football in terms of true talent. And it knows that he has really good receivers to throw to. Uh, it's really just a matter of kind of the hype getting overblown a little bit and game situation. This is a San Francisco team that likes to run the ball is a pretty big favorite, so they should be running the ball more later in the game. And this projects as the slowest paced game of the week. So, you know, maybe Purdy, you know, gets quote unquote lucky again and, you know, someone rips off a 70 yard completion and uh, and then and then we're dead. But, uh, you know, the I think the smart money is on the under here. The Blitz is projecting about 225, so about 25 yards under. Uh, I'm really interested to see if they open a completions market on him. I'd be more willing potentially to call that a play than yards um, just because there, there tends to be more value on completions markets to begin with. And with this yak situation with San Francisco, the completions kind of insulate us against that a little bit. So uh, interested to see if they open that up, potentially might add that as a play depending how the lines look. Um, but for now, I think as a lean, this is certainly, this is certainly a, a good enough one. Do you have his projected completions uh, right there? If you bring them up without the mark, without the market there, it, it's tough. We've seen, uh, let's say, uh, 22 so and a half. So, yeah, if we get a 22 and a half, I think that's a play. The Blitz is projecting 19 and a quarter. So, if we're getting 22 and a half, anything close to, you know, even money, minus 110, minus 115, that would look really nice. Um, and I would prefer that to the passing yards here. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure the books are projecting that his average air yards per pass or whatever is cutting into his actual completion amounts because of the lack of a field. But I mean, we saw Dak Prescott sitting at 24 and a half in a similar game script or actually five points, but, but something similar. So you'd kind of want uh 22 and a half still low and you're saying 19. So that's uh that's something to look forward to if you're looking. And like Derek said, the value are certainly with those completions, the attempts, and rush attempts. If you're new to those markets, certainly look into them. They are there's a reason they're released closer to the game time and not open all week because uh yeah, yeah, they're not the most efficient. So Brock Purdy under 251 and a half even money at Caesars. Then we go on the Seattle offense and rookie running back Zach Charbonnet under 19 and a half receiving yards, minus 110, bet 365. That is also a lean. Kenneth Walker has not been declared out. He's more doubtful. Uh, third down roll, not guaranteed for Charbonnet, but probably will get the early down stuff, which would leave him out of third down passing. Uh, I believe there are three other guys on the roster right now, including someone they brought up from the practice squad to fill in on running back. We know Pete Carroll loves his running backs. So I don't think that third down roll is just there. And uh, this is one of those handicaps that we talk about and we joke that, the people who look at the hit rates, they're looking at his past two games. They're like, oh, he's going over this for sure. Yeah. Uh, the narrative is, you know, he's this, you know, young rookie. He's great. He's exciting. Now, now Ken Walker's out. He's going to step into this huge role. 
Uh, and he probably will step into a very huge role, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the sharp money is on the over. Uh, this doesn't show a ton of value. The blitz is projecting about four yards under, four and a half yards under. So it's not like this is any kind of monster slam dunk play by any means. Uh, but they're showing a little bit of value to the under, especially when you consider the distribution of of receiving yards for running backs and when you consider just the different ways that unders can hit. He can get hurt. He doesn't get the role that people think he does. You know, DJ Dallas steps in maybe and, and plays more on uh, on third downs or in two-minute situations. Um, there are just more ways to hit the under. And, again, this is the slowest pace game of the week, so just total play volume in general should be down. So a little bit of value here. It's a lean. Um, but it's, you know, it, it's, it should be a plus EV, plus EV lead. Geno Smith could hurt himself uh, again and be taken out of this game. Uh, yeah. he could, he could get sad as a rookie for, for missing a uh, third down, uh, like a, a blitz pickup in pass pro fumbles the ball. And then he's in Pete Carroll's doghouse. <laughs> yeah. 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 There's always more, there's always seems to be more outs for the unders, which, which makes sense. And, uh, uh, it doesn't make sense why more people actually don't play them. But uh, a couple unders here for Thursday night's game. Brock Purdy under 251 and a half even money. And Zach Charbonnet under 19 and a half rack yards minus 110. And one note that you should take away from this if you're not a prop market better. Derek and the Blitz are certainly projecting this as one of the slowest pace games, I believe, in neutral in neutral context. Uh, San Francisco, uh, both of them are in the bottom five in your numbers. So uh, don't expect a ton of play volume. Maybe lean on those unders. Purdy under, Charbonnet under. Let's wrap up a Thursday night, pal. Lots of plays from the Blitz, but it doesn't stop there. We got Friday action, Boyle versus Tua, and that's what will lead us to next week. But I'm Josh Ingles. He's Derek Cardi. This is the Blitz Show brought to you by Covers. We'll see you back here for more NFL Week 12 action on Friday.